Cinco de Mayo's <laughs> over, but Barcola is a place to enjoy some great tequila drinks. So come on with me as I learn to make one of their signature drinks. Hey, all right, I'm here at Barcoa, down in the down low, I could say, Nick, of yeah. uh, the place, uh, which is really cool. And you're gonna make a drink for us. And this is kind of like one of your signature drinks. It's always mm -hmm. on the menu, but it changes a little bit. And yep, what's the name correct. of it? This is the Ponche 2.0. It's actually a riff on a Mexican firing squad, which is a Mexican classic. Oh my goodness, and that's what the theme of Barcoa is. It's correct. all about Mexico. It's mm -hmm. all tequila driven. Um, do you yep. have anything, you have, any, you have anything besides tequila? We're all tequila. No, we do have other spirits. Do you have spirits. spirits yeah, too? we do. <laughs> so, and, and we're gonna wanna make sure, this is good tequila. Don't think Correct. of it as your uh, college tequila uh, that had the worm in the bottom that cost me like three ninety five or anything like this. Mm -hmm. we, do you have any of that stuff? We do not. No? Would you not ever get yet. that? Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Talk you to Tida. Tida <laughs> might <laughs> get some. All right, all right let's go ahead. Let's, how, how we make this? What's in it? Let's go and start okay. putting it together. So first off, you're gonna grab your jigger and you're gonna start with we have 21 seeds. It's a hibiscus and grapefruit tequila. Ooh. It's about one and a half ounces of that. All right. Then you will add lime juice, which is just about seven five, but a little more, almost an ounce. I like how you're giving the seven five and stuff. Mm -hmm. Can't we just say put it in the smaller jigger? Part? You can, you can. <laughs> but in case someone wants to replicate it at home, they'll know. Okay. All right. And then you want about half an ounce of Jamaica syrup, which right. we make in house. So what, yeah, you're gonna say what is Jamaica syrup? Jamaica is hibiscus flour soaked in water, uh, two parts sugar to one part. There you go. All right. There. And so this is a very sweet drink. I take it. It's actually not as sweet as you would think. Yeah. You would think that it would be sweeter, but uh, the water really mellows it out. We do Horitos. Okay, and what did you just throw in there now? Uh, pomegranate juice. All right, okay, that's mm -hmm. good. All right, so. And then, then add ice All right. to your go. shaker. There you go, and then shake it, mm -hmm. right? And you yep. shake it with a smile. Shake it. Unless you're in the weeds. <laughs> if it's a busy night, we're yeah. not always shaking. Now you're shaking like that. No. If it's a busy night, you're. What did you say? If you're in the weeds. If you're in the weeds. And that is like that's a busy night. Of that's a busy I night. I just learned a bar term. You did. So all right, so we're not in the weeds right now. So we're right now we're not in the weeds. We're in the weeds. But if it was packed in here, if it was packed, you wouldn't get that kind of uh, smile or. No, shake, you should you? always get a smile, but sometimes it gets busy. <laughs> I don't like it. So all right. all right, then the secret weapon. This is it right here. Wow, that's now that is an ice cube right there. Correct. So that is neat. And you only get that here at Barcola. You don't see that anywhere else, do you? Um, I think there's a couple places in town that have started moving to the tall, uh, clear cubes, but not many. Yeah, because of you, Nick. That's yeah. why. We know that. Okay, now what do we do? And so then you are going to want to double strain it so you don't get all those ice chips in there. Ooh. Okay, double strain it. Yep, because you got the clear ice. So let's make sure people understand that. If you saw, keep that strainer there, hold on, mm -hmm. and then show the other strainer. So that's double strainer when they talk about that. Yes, so, so strainer this strainer catches ice. Yeah. You can see it right there. But and you then this sure one there's... catches all those little chips so they don't float in your drink. I love it, all right. It's just about dilution. You don't want it to dilute any yeah. more than you already did when you shook the nice. cocktail. Okay, and presentation's always important. That's so what, what do we say. finish it with? So Horitos. Oh, we're not done, oh. No, we're not done. Paritos, Mineragua. Oh, I'm sorry, say it again. Mineragua. Mineragua. Min mineral, mineral water. Water. Mm -hmm. Mineral water. Mineral mm water. -hmm. Can you just say mineral water? Why'd you have to do I, that in there? No, because we're at Barcoa. Barcoa. <laughs> All right. And so then, then this gets the garnish. A little swizzle. You get dehydrated lime peel and a straw. And it's all ready to go. And that's the cocktail. Ooh, okay. Well, and again, this is called a Ponche 2.0. A Ponche 2.0. Correct. It's Paul J and it's 2.0. <laughs> All right, there you go. Nick, thanks for making that Thank for you us. So you gotta much. check out Barcoa. Information is on AZTV.com and it's all fun for everybody. Thank you.